Hello everybody! So according to our poll, and thank you so much for everybody who participated, we're gonna be doing a video on how to keep your birds happy while you're at work. So both Mark and I work full time. Mark does probably most of his job at home, but there are days where he'll be gone out for the whole day and I work full time outside of the home just to give you guys an idea of our living situation. And that means sometimes the birds are by themselves about for about eight hours or more at, at a time. No, actually it never goes beyond eight hours, does it? So it's about eight hours. If I sound like I'm talking to myself, <laughs> my, my husband's like right yeah. next to me. Yeah, that's right, Bella, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is kind of their setup when we're away. So one of the things that I really do strongly recommend when um, you guys are gonna be having a lifestyle with birds where you guys are away from home for hours at a time is try to get more than one. Like really, I can't stress this more than enough. So these birds are never allowed to be physically together, um, like, as in like physically within touching distance of each other uh, because you know the size difference and the fact that we did have um, some violence happening here before but they do like to talk to each other they do like to whistle at each other so having the cages close together like this but you can see that the spacing over here is is enough that they are still feeling close to each other but they can never hurt each other through the bars and that does happen so yeah, having more than one bird is really important to kind of make sure that they have someone to talk to, someone to whistle at, someone to make jokes at, and they do do all these things by the way. Um, so yeah, try to have more than one bird for sure. And if you don't, I know there are some bird groups out there that do kind of like birdie, like daycare almost, where they t take turns like having their birds in a in a in a friend's place with their birds and then they take turns doing that while they're away so trying to figure out a system like this as long as all the birds involved of course are healthy and vet certified is an idea you can go for as well bella when did you come down here boo bear hello how are you pretty bird and happy how are you who's a pretty bird hi hello little wuku hi i'm sorry i'm keeping the cage closed it's just mommy's making a video right now yeah, hi! So the second thing, of course, is a source of, um, of uh, what do you call that, of uh, entertainment? Yeah, so another thing that's really important is having a TV or some sort of like a screen where you can play them videos or, ta or um, pictures even. So this for us is like a digital photo album. It plays our travel videos and our travel photos. And it's something for the birds to look at. So that's actually something very, very useful. When we're gone away for more than a few hours, then we actually play TV for them. So they'll have a TV screen in front of them that plays some Disney movies. I think I made a video about this before. Birds really benefit from Disney movies because then the language is soft. They can learn a lot of things from watching them, like a lot of new words. And it's fun for them and it's dynamic. And for my birds, for sure, I know they find the fact of seeing our photos and hearing our voice very very comforting so that is something that you can do for your birds as well so the second thing is a noise machine so um we're not sponsored by this company we actually just bought it off of amazon and this is just an example of any kind of sound machines you can get that can play a variety of sounds that are not in a repeating pattern that's really really important so that's what kind of separates you playing the same track over and over again versus having something that is not in a repeating pattern so over here we have like options of white noise new york morning hawaii wave our birds really love that one some zoo sounds sounds as animals we tend not to use this one because it makes a bird scream at the various um, at the various uh, animals that they can hear and Tokyo Temple Rain, they really like that as well. And then this kind of sound machines are designed such that it's not in a repeating pattern and they can go I think about a 24 hour cycle without repeating anything which is perfect and you can adjust the noise and it also makes them less able to hear any like kind of loud or perhaps scary noises that come from neighboring areas which is really important. The other thing I want to talk to you guys about is having them next to a window. So I'm not going to show you guys a window right now just for security purposes. But, um, Happy, why'd you have to scream like that? Why'd you have to scream like that, little poo poo? Why'd you have to scream like that? But anyway, so um, they are right in front of a window in addition to the screen and that is another something for them to look at which is really really important So I really do suggest that you guys have the birds in front of a window at all times But really especially if you're gonna leave them alone for hours at a time It's really important that they have something to look at that they have something to interact with and they're in front of Sun 
thing for safety that I will mention is this curtain. So for some houses like ours, it's really bright and there are certain hours of the day where the sun's gonna come and hit the birds. If you have a home like that, please take care to put the curtain in the direction that you know the sun's gonna come in so that the birds don't get heat shock. There were actually news of many birds passing away from heat shock lately and just because you have them in a closed and um, well-ventilated room doesn't mean that it can't happen to you. So make sure that you're very mindful about the curtain placements. There, Pooh Bear, let me show them inside your crib, okay? So the other thing that's obviously very important to keep them entertained is toys and enrichment and I'm gonna do a separate more detailed video about this but this is just to give you an idea so when you're away it's really important that your birds have a way of entertaining themselves so that their their feathers and their body doesn't become a source of entertainment and of course I'm referring to things like plucking or over preening which obviously our happy has that problem um, she came to us with that issue and this has really helped us kind of handle that in a more manageable way so the first kind of toy that you can give to your bird to really um, entertain them is foraging toys so in this hook over here in this ring you can see there's a range of toys that she can actively play with and destroy so these are all destroyable toys so there's some shredding toys over here some wood blocks you can see that she really likes these and some kind of toys that she can use to kind of imitate the behavior of preening each other and one thing that I will say about ring toys that I will say in more detail later is make sure that the ring circumference is um, circumference ring diameter is enough for her to very comfortably slide the head in and out if it's kind of tight it becomes a potential source of basically um, the birds accidentally hanging themselves to death or getting stuck and really damaging themselves in a way so it either has to be small so that it can't fit the widest diameter of her face hey bells or it has to be uh, big enough so that they can comfortably slide in and out and of course if you have a ring toy don't hang it from the ceiling you guys hang it somewhere like this so they're not tempted to stick their head on there and then hang from it Okay, so inside you can see that they're going to be spending a lot of time in their home so there's perches of various diameters and widths and that is something that we already touched on in our Building Your Cage video, both for medium and small birds. And you can see that there's a lot of variety of toys over here. This is another foraging toy and then you can see that there's some shredding toys, some wood toys, so lots of different toys. And then another thing that I want to mention is food foraging toys. So this is a toy I made with all bird safe stuff where they can use to both hide the toys and find little food that I hide from them. Our African Grey in particular is not very food driven, so she likes to hunt for toys instead. So she likes to hunt for these little shredding papers, she likes to hunt for these little paper roll pieces, and she likes to hunt for these um, pine cones, which she loves taking out and shredding into little pieces. So again, enriching toys, variety of toys and all that is very, very important. You can see from Happy's toys as well. So green cheek conures are very, very intelligent. A lot of people think that these enrichments and keeping them entertained kind of things are for big birds only. Happy is a mischievous, intelligent, and colorful little soul. And she needs entertainment while we're away too. And you can see that she fully agrees. So she also gets her own foraging toy with the things that she likes to forage for, which are these little shredding papers. She loves those. And then she loves having things to rub against and to pretend that she's preening. So she's actually very... She's very close to this toy. She likes the rubbish. She likes to preen the edges of it. So she loves that and I made that for her myself as well. Um, I might do a video on how to make your own bird toy. So if you guys want to learn how to do that in a safe manner, I can definitely make a video on that. So just let me know in the comments down below or I might do another poll. And then she has these little wooden toys. Big wooden toys scare little birds, you guys. So don't give them big wooden toys. They can also hurt themselves with it. And then you can see that she has like this little shredding toy. And she has the bunny over here that she likes to cuddle when we're away do you guys see that one okay one last thing that I want to touch on is of course having a camera so if you guys are gonna be away for anything longer than like say four hours we actually set up a camera that allows us to monitor the birds that allows to, us to talk to the birds and hear them so the reason why this is important is because especially at the beginning when you're kind of separating from your birds for longer periods at a time it allows you to 
monitor how they're doing. So there are cameras that are associated with like a phone software or a phone app that gives you an alert every time they move or every time they make a noise, right? So then you can see the frequency by which they're screaming or they're happily playing or they're sitting in one place completely depressed, which is not something you want for them for long periods either. So you can really monitor how they're doing on their own and see what kind of adjustments you can make. You can see that they're particularly excited about a toy or just hating having like a certain toy. You know what I mean? So yeah, having that camera to monitor, especially at the beginning when you're kind of keeping your birds alone for the first time or testing out a new toy or testing out a new video or a sound machine or whatever, or even in times where you know that you're gonna be away for a little longer period so you want to talk to your birds it's really really important um, we personally use just a camera we got off of Amazon and there's a lot of um, other cameras out there so you guys can do your research if you want to know the specific one you can just leave a comment down below we're not sponsored so yeah they've come down in price a lot over the years so yeah they definitely come down anymore. yeah they're not very expensive anymore um, they're definitely you can definitely get a really decent one for sixty seventy dollars nowadays yeah, yeah. you guys Canadian, don't like, yeah yeah, you guys don't need a super high-tech computer to do this and if you can afford to give them toys and stuff You can definitely afford this and just for even a safety measure I really do recommend that you guys have some sort of a security or like a monitoring camera or system Okay, all right, so I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you I guess in about another week or so. Okay. Bye